Hi guys! Our second wedding anniversary is coming up July 6th. So we just wanted to celebrate with all of you by making a video just sharing some of our favorite moments from our dating time. We've kept a lot of things, uh, notes and tickets and all kind of mementos in this box. Um, it's an old Chinese temple moon, moon cake, moon cake <laughs> box. Um, and every year when we were dating, we would go through it and we would look at all the different notes and stuff we wrote to each other. So we're going to share some of these moments with you guys. They are incredibly cheesy, um, but it's going to be fun. So. We also have this book that I made from when we started dating. I started keeping all of our old text messages and just really random things. Like I would keep some of the flowers that he gave me and just press them and put them in here. Like this contains things that are just so cheesy. Like I can't even read them to you. It is it's painful to, for me to read. Yeah, but we're gonna share some of the select favorites. Yeah, from some, this of the, book. some of the normal ones. So, um, should be pretty fun. Okay, so first off, some of you guys may have already seen the video about how we met, but we met at a party um, that our college ministry was throwing at the beginning of the year. And this is actually the flyer from that event. So we still have that. And it's, it, they had a big slip and slide and um, outdoor food and games. And later, I think maybe a, a year or so after we dated, Katie made me this book. And inside it has basically the paper version of the video that we made. So we modeled the video about how we met, which you can see here. We will link it. And um, this is just a really cute drawing about how we met. So um, we always used to read this and now we have it in video form, which is really cute. So about one month after we started dating, um, I went to Katie's parents' house and I asked them if I could take her to this concert that a bunch of our friends were going and it was Passion Pit. Um, we actually had just started listening to Passion Pit, so it was kind of crazy to go to a concert of a group we had just started listening yeah, to. Yeah, I, I only knew one of their songs, and then we would like just listen to the whole album and just be trying to like learn them before we would go so we could sing along. Yeah, uh, and so this is the ticket from the concert. It was at UNC Chapel Hill, um, and this is a little note that Katie wrote down. She said, Vince is so amazing. I love him. He's just the best boyfriend any woman could ever dream of or ask for. <laughs> I'm so proud of him and I love showing him off to everyone. Oh my gosh. Tomorrow is Halloween and we're dressing up for the first time. I'm Lucy Lou Who, which is a character that we made up of a combination of Dr. Seuss and Lucy Lou. And he's the Grinch. He's going to be so cute as always. He is such a hottie. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that pretty much sums up how we were feeling about each other at the time. Oh my gosh. It was fun. <laughs> so I don't even know if people do this anymore, but back in high school and stuff, people used to make CDs for the person that they liked, and Vince actually did that for me. Yeah. So here I have saved the two CDs he made for me. The first one is um, just songs that have the word love in it, and the second one was just some other songs that he really liked. And I would listen to these every day, like literally every day when I was getting ready. And now when I listen to them, I can't help but just have those memories of that time because you know, you have, you can link a song to your memories and so now it's just cool because I can listen to these and experience that same feeling I had back then, which is really cool. <laughs> when we were dating, we would write a lot of notes to each other and leave them in random places. Like, like I under the pillow? Yeah, I would put them in her pillow sometimes or um, On places, my windshield? Yeah, places where we knew we would find them. Um, and so after we got married, we wanted to continue that, but we were together a lot more of the time. So we wanted a specific place where we knew we would have them. And so yeah. I found these mailboxes at Target in the dollar section, and I just painted them. And so he put them on the wall, and then whenever we would have a note for each other, just put up the little flag. Yeah, it's a really cute way to let your spouse um, know that you're thinking about them. And I don't know, it just seemed like the little red flag up is like so exciting. So like, exciting, oh my yeah. Gosh. <laughs> So just here's a sample stack of all the notes. I mean, not even all of them. This is just some of them from the last year. There's probably like 30 of them here at least. Um, but it's just a nice little way to let your loved one know you're thinking about them. So sometimes I would uh, write Bible verses or she would leave me a, an encouraging note about work. Put candy in there. Yeah, candy is always really good. Um, so this one I wrote to her, it says, any day with you is the best day of my life. And some of the nicknames we have for each other, um, I call her Inspector Lee from Rush Hour, and so she calls me Detective Carter. Detective? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just really fun to, you know, come up with stuff. So half of these notes are signed Carter or Lee or um, all kinds of stuff that we have for each other. So it was really fun. Yep. <laughs> so I have this note here of just something that I would typically write to Vince. So I'll read this for you guys. 
It says, my dearest Vincent, <laughs> you are so sweet to me. You are constantly looking for ways to make me feel so special and important. You are always so thoughtful and generous, putting my needs before your own. I appreciate you so much and I'm so thankful for all that you do. I feel like the most special person when I'm around you. You make me feel confident, lovely, and important. You listen to all that I say, you answer all of my silly questions, and you never fail to make me smile. I love everything about you. You are so perfect for me and I truly believe that you are way above the rest in every aspect of who you are. God has blessed you with so many talents and skills. I'm so proud of you and all that you have accomplished. Thank you for all the love and care that you show me daily. You always are excited to do things for me and I feel on top of the world, your almost wife, Catherine. Oh. So <laughs> it makes me tear up a little bit because it's like, you're still all those things and I'm really thankful for you. <laughs> oh. That's really sweet, baby. <laughs> yeah, and it's really important to go back and um, read this stuff because you know, marriage is, is hard work, and there may be a time where you don't necessarily feel all the same emotions that you feel, you know, when you were dating, but um, it's definitely still there, and it's just great to go back and remember, you know, why you fell in love with the person that you love, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, a little gift that I gave Vince, I would just make him little stuff all the time. I took this um, Orbit gum box, and I wrapped it in some, what's it called, magazine paper? And so, I just put these little business card things that I wrote on and I just put all the dates of the important things in our dating time because I'm a forgetful person and I he always was remembering the dates and I was like I don't want to be that girl who's just <laughs> like when did we meet when was that and so I wrote it all down so I could remember it and then drew little pictures and so it's actually kind of cute we can show it to our kids one day yeah it's really cute um, and we the cool thing is anytime something big would happen we could add a new one to our box so yeah. Uh, in the future, we'll add the birth of our children and, you know, big things like that, so. So I wanted to share um, a note towards the end of our dating time, right before we got married. This was a note that I wrote to Katie at her wedding shower, and she read in front of um, her friends. And the last paragraph says, Katie, I can't wait until you become my wife. You have inspired me in ways you may never fully understand. You pushed me to become a stronger leader, a better follower of God, and a husband that will lead by example. I hope that God will continue to use us as a couple that people can look to for advice and that his work would be evident in our lives. Enjoy the rest of this time. And if anyone didn't get us a good gift, show them the door. <laughs> I love you with all my heart and I will as long as there's breath in these asthmatic lungs. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> love, Vincent. Because we always make jokes about your asthma. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, it's just awesome to go back and, and look at these memories. Because I remember when I wrote that, and I was just so excited that we were getting married and that we could finally be a husband and wife. Um, and so thank you guys for watching our videos, for you know following us out to San Diego, and um, just being uh, an encouraging factor in our lives. Um, it's been awesome to have support from people like you. Yeah, we love you guys.